Hey guys, Italy Horse 45 here, and today I'll be showing you the walkthrough for the code of my uh, database program that I showed in a prior video. First thing we're going to look at is the uh, libraries. You're going to need to declare three the IO string, which is for your uh, output text and input text, your string, which is for your uh, string functions and your string variables, and the F stream, which is for your uh, um, files, which will be uh, the main basic structural support for this program. I'm going to dec declare the namespace standard so you don't have to bother with that throughout the whole uh, text. And uh, these are prototypings. I'll get to those later. It'll be easier to explain later. Now let's look at the main function. Now these three system functions are uh, used just for aesthetics. So this program looks nice. First one you, d you put title and then the name that's going to be displayed on the very top of the uh, program, like right uh, right here. Makes it look really good. And the next one is CLS. It just clears the screen of any prior text. And the next one is color. OF, or the 0F. 0 is for the background color. F is for the text color. 0 is black. F is bright white. And you're going to declare variable choice. And then, uh, I'll put some text to the screen, like one, input a new name, two, search database for employee, and three, exit the program. Then you're going to ask for the user to input a choice, and then you're going to go to a switch case. What switch case does, it takes what the input that you made up here and uses it to choose a function. Like in case one, now make sure that this right here is a, se is a colon, not a semicolon, and then input... If, it, if the choice is 1, then go to the input function and break the loop. The input function is right here. And if, if they input 2, go to the search function, which is way down here. Right there. And 3 is the quit function, which is also way down here. Right there. And make sure you put cin.get so you can see this, all of this. All right, now let's look at the input function. You're going to declare a string, an integer, and a long int. Doesn't matter what you name them. This you need to stay consistent throughout the whole whole video. And right, now you're going to do OF stream, which is for output file streaming. You're going to name the variable for the uh, t file. Call it, I guess, call it new employee. It can be whatever, and then make a name for it. I mean, my new employee .txt. And then uh, this is important right here, the iOS colon colon append. Append makes it so that every time you input something new to the file, it doesn't delete the old, old information. It just just adds, the, or adds to the file. And then output, enter the new employee's name, and then ask the user to input the name. And then ask, enter the employee's age, and then ask for the input of the age. And the same thing for the salary. Then after that's done, you want to take these variables right here that you declared up here, and these arrows mean that all this information is going into the file. Make sure we end the line so everything isn't all bund bundled up in the file. And make sure you close it, because if you don't close it, nothing will appear. And then declare the main function so it'll go back up here to the main title. So it doesn't just quit after that's done and allow them to just free flow between all the functions in the program. All right, next we're going to go down to the search function. The search, it's the same thing as up above. You're going to declare a integer, clear the screen, and then output all the choices, and then ask the user to input a choice, and then do a switch case which will take people to the search name, a search age, or search salary, or a display all, or, or quit. Now let's go look at the search name. With the search name, you input file stream, which is the exact opposite of OF stream. It takes stuff from the file and it puts it into the uh, program you're using. Now this can be whatever you want, but this has to be the same name as up here. Then you're going to declare a a string for a name and a string for anything else. It can be named anything. It's going to be used for whenever you input. 
and then it's going to compare down here. I'll give that a little bit. Then you need to declare an integer for an age and a long int for a salary. And then clear the screen and see how enter the employee's name. Then uh, ask for the user to input that name. Now in this while loop, you need to take out from the file all the information that you inputted before. This will see the arrows are going out, which, which means that the information in here will be named as name, age, and salary. And inside the brackets, you're going to put an if if statement here. And if the string that you asked for before is equals equals, you need equals equals because it has to uh, evaluate this way and this way. Both if name so like st string equals name and name equals string. Then inside the curly brackets, clear the screen, see how employee found. And then this is all just for looks. You're gonna put, it's going to say name, and then space, age, space, salary. And this is just a divider. And then C out name, age. And that little money sign just makes it look like look, look a little better. Then salary. But then down here, if whatever was input does not equal what the excl exclamation point is for, you need to have these parentheses around the whole thing or for it to work. If it does not equal, then clear the screen and see out no employees found. And then system pause, cin, cin get let's just see it, and then go back to the main function. Now for the search age, it's, it's, it's pretty much the same thing as up here. You input from the, f from the file before, make a string for the name, and then for the age, and then a second integer for the age that you're inputting, and then the long int for the salary. Clear the screen, see out, enter the age of an employee, ask for the input of the new, of the age you're searching for. In the while loop, take out the information like you did before, and if the new age equals the age in the file, Clear the screen, see how employees found. Same thing as up before with all the aesthetics. And then see out the name, the age, and the salary. If it does not equal, you can do this right here. You don't need the two equals because it's uh, a number. You don't need to evaluate both ways if it's a number. Then clear the screen and output no employees found. And then pause, see and I'll get and go back to the main function. Now for the search salary, it's the same thing as up here, except you just declare two long ints, one for the one that's inputted and one for the one in the file. Then you clear the screen, enter the enter an employee's name, and then ask for the input from the user. And then in the while loop as you did before. If F salary equals salary, which is, which is what was inputted equals what's in the file. Clear the screen, employee found. See out all the things from before. Then put out what, what's, what's after that or what is on the same line. And then up here, the same thing as before, just with the different variables. And I guess I can go over the quit function. Hopefully you guys know that. You just clear the screen and say thanks for using it, goodbye, and then it will quit the, quit the program. And I'll go over the void display all function, which will display everything in the file, not just what, what's searched for. So you can just see who all is in there. Input file stream, the file. Then uh, declare the variables. You don't, you don't need to put anything for in input because there is no input here. Clear the screen, see out just the entire employee database, name, age, salary. This is the same thing as we did before right here. And then in the while loop, take out the information and then just instead of putting an if statement, you just see out, you just output the name, age, and salary, which is it will do every single one and put it on an individual line. All right, and you pause, cn.get, and you see this, so you can see it, and then go back to main. The thing I want to talk about is this 
block of text up here. It's called prototyping, and what you need it for is like down here in the switch case where where you have a uh, input, search, and quit. If you don't have these up here, the, the computer will be like, I don't know what those things are, and it'll give you an error reading and won't run the program. So you need to put void, the function, and then a uh, semicolon, so that the computer knows that what's what's declared here is a function and will be used later. All right, and lastly, I'll we'll be showing the demonstration of the program. And put a name. Reg. And his age is 19. And his yearly salary is $15,000. Makes well below minimum. And now I'll search the database. Name. Greg, there it is. Right. Age, nineteen, and by salary. Now let's display all, and those are all the people I already have in there. There's Greg in there. All right, now that's about it. It's a pretty simple program. You can use it with the basic um, skills that you can learn from uh, Bucky at the New Boston. That's where I learned all mine. And thank you. Subscribe and like, and see you in my next video.